In this video we're going to have a look at the selection construct for the Python language and we're going to do it with reference to this. At the end of each working day the balance of a bank account is considered. Now if the individual with that bank account has drawn out too much money, in other words if the account is overdrawn charges are applied to the account. In other words the customer is fined for drawing out too much money. So we need to ask this question, are you overdrawn? The program will look at the balance and see if it's overdrawn. Now, if they're not overdrawn, then the answer to this is no, then you carry on with the rest of the program. However, if the answer to this question is yes, then you apply the charges and then you carry on with the rest of the computer program. When talking about programs in a high level language, we don't usually talk about answers to questions of being yes and no. We usually talk about them being true and false, so yes is replaced by true as you can see here and the no, well that's replaced by false. So you either are overdrawn, in which case it's true you're overdrawn, or you're not overdrawn, in which case it's false that you are overdrawn. Now this is the flowchart that represents one of the selection constructs and here you can see I've put a dot and I'm going to use this dot to show the possible route through this program. There's one of the routes when we were not overdrawn, i.e. it's false we're overdrawn. Now if we have a look now at the other possible route, here's the dot again, and this time we're going to say yes we are overdrawn, it's true that we're overdrawn. Now the path through the program here will be as shown, you come to here where you now will apply the charges, so you execute whatever the code is in there, and then what you do, you carry on with what would be the rest of the program. Now here I've produced a flowchart for the specification we're looking at here, i.e. the applying of charges to an account. And here we can see I've got two steps which form a sequence. We looked at that in the last video. And here you can see we have the construct for the selection. And down here you can see I'm talking about displaying the account balance. Here you can see I've added some detail to the actual flowchart. So the first step, which is this one here, you can see I've set the bank charge to £10. Here I've set the balance to £100. And then I'm going to ask the question, are you overdrawn? Well, clearly we're not because the balance is £100. So we follow the false route, which means that we actually will now come down here and the program that we write will display the account balance. Now, as the balance was £100, we followed the false route. But another way of looking at this is we didn't go the true route, which means we don't apply the charges. And you wouldn't want to apply the charges because the account is not overdrawn. So there you can see an example of a selection. We selected the false route because we didn't want to go the true route because we didn't want to apply the charge. And that's what we mean by selection. We selected not on this occasion to apply the charge. Here is the flowchart again, and here you can see the bank charges have been set to £10, whereas the balance has been set to minus 10, i.e. overdrawn. So we ask the question, is the account overdrawn? Well, we can clearly see, because I've just set it here to minus £10, then it's clearly overdrawn. So it's true that it's overdrawn. So the route we take is this direction. We apply the charge, which means that the account will now be overdrawn by £20 because we take from the £10 another £10, which is the charge. And of course we now follow on for the rest of the program via this route. And of course we now display the account balance. And the account balance will be minus £20, because we calculated at this point that it was minus 20 which meant on this occasion we applied the charge. And that was the choice here. The selection was to apply the charge. The previous one we looked at, we followed the false route. We didn't apply the charge. So this is another illustration of selection in action. We either apply the charges or we don't. That's what this selection construct gives us. Now the flowchart gives us all of the steps for the program. And now what I'm going to do is to look at each step. And here you can see I'm letting the bank charge equal £10. That's what it would look like in Python. Now the next step in the flowchart in Python would look like this account balance is assigned 100. Now the next thing we need to do is to ask, well, are we overdrawn? Now what does that look like in Python? Well you can see it looks like this little snippet here, where it says if 
account balance is less than zero and then you can see there's a colon there and I will come back to that colon a little bit later but the key here is this bit account balance less than zero now on this occasion it's a hundred so we are asking is 100 less than zero now clearly it is not so that is false so that means we would follow the false route if however the account balance was less than zero as some of the examples we've already looked at i.e. if it was minus 10 for example then this would be true and we'd follow the true route but the key here is that we use this relational operator and what this is doing it's asking whether what's on this side is less than what's on this side and on this occasion it isn't it's false it is not less than now we will come back to discuss this particular line of code a little bit later we now need to wonder how we apply the charge so we need to look at the program statement for this and it's this one here account balance is assigned account balance minus the bank charge and that particular line of code will take whatever the account balance is reduce it by the bank charge and assign the result to the account balance now the next line of code would be as follows print and in brackets you can see there's a literal string which is the account balance is and then concatenated to that is the account balance after it's been converted to a string let's have a look at the flowchart and the code side by side with reference to the code I'm particularly interested in the selection construct which is this bit here so I'm going to show that as a snippet in a little bit larger font so there's a little bit of the line missing but I'm particularly interested in this area of the code where you can see there's a colon and on the following line you can see there is some white space now that white space I'm showing here and in fact that white space is simply four spaces typically hit the spacebar four times to show indentation in Python code now the colon together with that white space means that the line of code where it says account balance equals account and of course the rest of the line is missing from the snippet but that is part of the route that is taken when the conditional test shown here is true in other words when the account is overdrawn this line of code here is executed now for us to know which is the bit that is executed when it's true you have to have this colon here and you have to have this white space the indentation has to be present immediately after the colon so we can see that for this bit of the flowchart that shows us the selection this is how that is represented in Python and we can see the need for the colon and the white space we've already said it's not a good idea to design with the flowchart so what I'm going to show you here is another way of representing a design and that is a Nasi Schneiderman chart and we're going to show the Nasi Schneiderman chart for the selection construct now here you can see we're setting the bank charge then we're setting the balance those two steps are a sequence and then we ask the question are you overdrawn and the answer is true in which case we apply the charge and then we display the account balance but of course another flow through this is we can come here and say set the bank charge and then we can set the account balance and let's say on this occasion we're not overdrawn so when this particular question is asked it's false the answer in which case we come in this direction and we make a decision not to apply the charge so as far as the Nasi Snyderman chart is concerned this step is not executed we follow the empty step and then we display the account balance so this area is how we represent selection using a Nasi Snyderman diagram here you can see I've entered the code into the editor and what I'm going to do now I'm going to come up here to where it says run and I'm going to say run the module and we can see that the program responds with this output here the account balance is 100 now the execution flow through this program is as follows this line is executed and the bank charge is set at 10 we then go on to execute the next one in the sequence which is this one here and the account balance is assigned 100 we then come here and the question is asked 
Is the account balance less than zero? Well, is 100 less than zero? When the answer is, it isn't. So that is false. Now, because it's false, we come straight to here and we execute this line of code. In other words, we don't execute the line that was indented, i.e. this line. We only execute that line if this here is true. And on this occasion, it is not. So we can see we've made a selection here. And the selection is we've decided not to execute this line that is indented. Now look very carefully at this line. You can see it is not indented. Now that means it's not part of the selection construct. That's how we know whether something is part of a particular construct or not. The fact that it is indented. So we can see that what has happened here for the particular setup of making the account balance equal to 100, that we have not executed what's within the selection construct. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to come to this particular line where it says account balance is 100, and I'm going to change it to minus 10, so we can now clearly see we're overdrawn. So I'll then run, and it'll ask me to save it, so I'll click on the OK, and then we get this output here, where it says the account balance is minus 20. So in fact, what has happened on this occasion, it has performed the calculation within the selection construct. So let's have a look at the execution flow of this particular program. Now this line executes first, bank charge is equal to 10. There's no difference to the one we looked at previous here. Whereas this line, we can see that we've changed it to minus 10. Then when we come to here, and when we ask, is the account balance less than zero? We're asking, is minus 10 less than zero? Well, it is, so that's true. Now, because that is true, we now execute this line here. Account balance is assigned account balance minus bank charge. Now, because the account balance is already minus 10, taking another £10 away will make that minus 20. Then we go on to execute this line. And, of course, what this line will do it'll output the account balance is the account balance after it's been converted to a string and of course that outputs this here the account balance is minus 20 so we can see on this occasion that when this was true this was executed and immediately after this was executed we carried on with the rest of the program and of course this line of code is the rest of the program so we can see on this occasion that we have executed what was within the selection construct. Check out the supporting website for these videos and consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and you'll get an automatic update every time I upload a new video on Python.